Um, I'm really responsible for all of the content that we deliver to the mid-sized companies that we work with. So I do a lot of research and analysis of that information, providing different recommendations and opinions to the senior team for what it is that we're going to be offering. Basically my day is project management, which basically means herding cats a lot of the time, trying to make sure you can pull the pieces together for what people need to do. Um, it's a lot of assigning out tasks, following up on those tasks with people, um, being able to facilitate meetings, being, a, being able to talk to people and work through issues that come up. Um, it's definitely a huge skill that's become quite valuable. And really reviewing, summarizing, and analyzing information for people, uh, being able to provide those opinions when they need them. In that, I have a degree, double major in political science and French studies. So initially when I interviewed for the job I originally got, I was not super confident because they wanted someone with a business degree. Um, but what French really taught me was how to, if I can get up there and talk in another language um, about something I'm not super confident about, I can definitely do that in English. Um, political science has really taught me how to formulate opinions, how to summarize other people's ideas and build on that. Um, it's a, definitely a very valuable skill to have, but also to respect other people's opinions because especially when you're starting out, you want to make sure that you're always still eager to learn from others, being able to share that knowledge. I really like the skills of project management, being able to be organized, working with lots of groups of people, being able to facilitate meetings and see things happen. And that's really what drew me to this job and, and made me want to grow. Um, I also fell into a very good company who was really willing to see me grow in my role and provided that project management leadership training. Um, I definitely agree that if you're eager and willing to learn, there is someone out there who is willing to help you with that, even though you might not have exactly have the experience that, you're, that they're looking for. My biggest piece of advice is to not be so particular about the industry or the title that you want or the sector that you want to work in. Really be open to what skills it is that you want to learn from, develop or grow and find a place where you're going to be able to do that and people who are going to be able to facilitate that for you. Never think that anything is below you. Um, my first job I was like a human photocopier. I would staple presentations, whole bunch then, hand them out to people, make presentations, do formatting, anything. And some of my friends in BA program judged me for taking such a low level job for my first, um, for my first job. But that really got me to where I am today because I never said no, I was always up for any opportunity and they really valued that at my company and were really willing to see me go somewhere from there. Um, I really look up to my CEO, she's the first person unloading the dishwasher in our office in the morning, she's the first person willing to stay late to help out with anything that we have to um, and I've really valued that in her because it makes you want, it makes you want to do better and that nothing is also sort of below you and that you're all a team working um, together.